Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about power. What does power mean? Well, power, in def by definition, is work over time. How much work you can perform per unit time. Now, it turns out that pushing charges through a circuit, that takes work. And the more charges you push through a circuit, the more power it requires. Or the faster you push charges through the circuit, the more power it requires. The battery, or any sort of power uh, source, will provide that power. And the equation that we use to indicate how much power the battery produces is equal to the current that the battery pushes through the circuit times the voltage that the battery has. If this is a 10 volt battery and it produces 10 amps of current, then the power provided will be 10 volts times 10 amps or 100 watts. The units for power is watts, just like you see when we do regular work or like the power of an engine or so forth. Now, there are other components in the circuit that the current is driven through, and it, the more resistance you have in the circuit, the harder it is to push the charges through, and the resistor therefore consumes that power. The equation that we, need, that we use to indicate how much power a resistor consumes, it is the current squared times R. So let's put some numbers in so you can see what that looks like. Let's say we have a 10 volt battery. This is 10 volts. And let's say we produce 10, ohm, uh, no, 10 amps of current. This is 10 amps. And let's say that our resistor is equal to uh, 50 ohms. Let me write it over here. Our resistor is equal to 50 ohms. How much power is provided by the battery? In this case, the power provided by the battery is equal to 10 amps times 10 volts, which is equal to 100 watts. Here we can say that the power is equal to the current squared, that would be 10 amps squared, times the, oh, let's see here. I need to be careful. I need to make sure that I use the right amount of resistance because we also know that I is equal to V over R. So if there's only a 10 volt battery, it's not going to produce a 10 amp current. What I need to do here is change this to the appropriate resistance of 1 ohms to make everything work out right. In this case, I is V, 10 volts, divided by R, which is 1 ohm, which is 10 amps. Everything works better now. Again, going back to the power consumption equation for the resistor, power equals current squared times the resistance. The current was 10 amps. We squared that. The resistance is 1 ohm. You can see here that power is equal to 10 squared. That's 100 times 1, or uh, that would be 100 watts. Notice in this case that the power consumed by the battery is equal to the power provided by the, uh, I mean, the power consumed by the resistor is equal to the power provided by the battery. In many cases, like whenever we single out the source that provides all the power, we single out the component that consumes all the, all the power, those should, of course, then be equal to one another. But there's plenty of cases where we have a source that provides power and multiple components that consume power, and so any one of those components will only consume a fraction of the power provided by the battery or by the power source. One more thing we should mention. Notice that we can have a current flowing in the direction indicated by the battery. Sometimes we have the current flowing in the opposite direction because there may be another battery, another power source that is larger than this one causing the current to flow in the opposite direction. If the polarity of the battery, the positive end and the negative end are such that it's indicating the same direction as the direction of the current, then the power provided by this battery will be positive. A positive five amps times four volts is 20 watts in this case. But if something else is drawing current in the opposite direction, then this battery does not provide positive power, then we have negative power across the battery because the current is being driven in the opposite or negative direction. So we want to make sure we keep that straight as well. Again, the difference, batteries produce power, resistors or sources or loads on the circuit, they consume power. The equation we typically use for providing power is current times velocity. The equation we typically use for consumption of power is I squared R. In many cases, you'll get the very same result by calculating both the power provided and the power consumed, unless there's other devices that are also consuming power and you're not considering those. That's what we mean by power in the circuit. 